Hello there and welcome back to Cobb's Party, we're picking up right where we left off and yes I dropped off my hair and beard but I've got it in the rest of this recording so don't let that distract you. Anyway, on with the video. <laughs> Meanwhile... Huh? Whoa, another earthquake? It's over. What's wrong? I just got a really bad feeling. We've got to search for Mrs. Shido. What if she comes back while we're gone? And we'll miss each other along the way. We're going. Uh, alright. Well... We don't have any luck finding her. Let's just make sure we come back to this room, okay? <laughs> How about we leave her a note? Kinozaki, do you have anything I could write with? I've got a pen. But no paper, huh? It was always the teacher's desk. That's a desk? More like a podium. Mm. It's you. We've gone to find you. If we patch, patch. If we pass each other, and you see this message, wait right here. We'll be back. How's that? Go on. And a little sloppy. I thought we have to leave her a message at all, you know. But she might be in trouble. All right. All right. Then I cry, we'll find her. Right. Now whilst that bit was happening, you know what I'll you know what actually happened? Another one. And another one. And you guessed it. That should be it sorted for now. What's this? The shelves are filled to overflowing with long black hairs. The door is nailed shut. The nails are hammered in tight. It's not gonna be it's not gonna open through any normal means. You know, unless you happen to get a claw hammer or a crowbar or a very big mallet or a regular hammer and a lot of patience. Well, this wasn't here. If you comment on that. Yep. Nope. See quickly. Because we've got this. Uh, oh, a pale violet crystal found by Miss Yui protects its bearer from harm. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> maybe a little useful. <laughs> uh, you might have also noticed it's got sort of like a RPG system going on. <laughs> See if we can go this way then. Ah. What the? It's like a dead end. Did this happen during the last earthquake? It's Shishido. Where are ya? I'm really worried. The door seems affixed to the wall like a model. Well, let's go in here. Before it was under read this, so... Yep. Oh, that didn't do anything. Oh! Uh, it's cold in here. Not to mention dark. And scary. Hey, Shinazaki. Do you have any more of those candles? Like the one you lit during the ghost story? I do. How about we light one and 
take a quick breather to give off some heat, right? Sure. This candle of mine really is kind of warm. Yeah, it is. Yeah? So now can we... Yep. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's still the same. <laughs> Planet different. Don't do anything you'll regret. Think of your mother and father. Remember their faces. You'll only have one life to live. Make it count. Do not waste that precious gift of existence. It's not right. Why would there be something like this on a flyer in an elementary school? It's like someone's trying to plant the thought of suicide in their heads. Yeah, seriously. Plus, who's gonna kill themselves in here anyway? I'd rather find my own way out. Right, so we can either go... I think we should be able to go up here, because... Yep. No teachers allowed. Right. If you acquire any name tags from the corpses in the school, please, please bring them to me and I'll add them to my collection. The Custodian. Not gonna comment on that! Really? A crude picture, seemingly drawn by a child, adorns one of the shells. Four smiling children are surrounding an adult, and merrily stabbing him to death. How uplifting! Rows of dead bugs are neatly arranged on each shelf. Well, it's good to keep them in order. Oh. What the? Ow! That... No, that didn't affect the health. Hey, stop it! We we'll definitely have to go this way. Away from her corpse. What's up? I just had a brainstorm. Class, class, class rep Shinozaki's famous scary time candles. Not a student in Tui who isn't immediately familiar with them, right? You fucking with me? There's no single student in our grade that hasn't seen it at least once. People call you the horror rep of Kisaragi for an for an achie- I was about to say for an achievement. That's very wrong. For a reason. <laughs> so how about... We light some candles like this, all throughout the school building. They'll be like sing- Single? Signal flares for Mojita and the others. Let them know that you, me, and Mrs. Shido are all here with them. Safe and sound. I mean, yeah, I guess. Seems more like she's just trying to reassure herself. Uh, it's understandable. But if it makes her feel better... Come on, let's go. Okay. Right. Ooh, the music tells me something's off about this place. Living friends who are able to retain their sanity and their reason will be your final ray of hope.
Hmm. This. Oh. Okay. Ah. These are human bones. Oh God. No. Are you okay, Shinazaki? I'll be fine. I'm just hyperventilating a little. <sighs> Come on, we have to find Mr. Shoro. Yeah. Where the fuck is Shitoshi? You are here. I bet Shinazaki would be a. Yeah. I bet Shinazaki would be a whole lot calmer. What are you standing around for? Get the fuck out of here! Alright, ready. Judging by the size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals an I a school ID name tag. Ayakudan Senior High School Class 2-4 Hai Shimada Izami Did you just hear? We have to get away from here Okay Yep Same Tomahiro Okawa Esito Fukumori Isashigawa Isashigawa Girls Middle School Kari Hirigami Alright, what's up here? Let me just check No one's lost any health Good we can cross there. Well, that's fresher. There are four framed photos here of small children. Seem to be around elementary school age. Okay. There are decaying skeletal remains here, but the size of a middle school student. They're in the process of slowly drying and whitening, creating an almost overpowering stench throughout the hallway. Any clothing the deceased had been wearing is long gone, so there's no means of readily identifying the gender on sight. What's this? Victim's Memoirs, one of five. I ate my friends today. What else was I supposed to do? I was bored. We both were. There's nothing to do here. We decided together that one of us should try to live just a little longer. If I ever get home, I'm supposed to tell all the people waiting for us what happened. You left it all up to a game of paper, rock, paper, scissors, rock. Loser eats winner. And I lost. I felt her blood going down my throat, clenching my th this thirst. Her meat was supple and satisfying. But that blood, that meat, was once my friend. Up until just a few hours before, we talking we are. As I feasted, I just kept thinking, this food was a person before I tore it apart. It all worked together to sustain a life. And every time I thought about that, I just started crying. And I couldn't stop. I wanted some part of her to be with me, even after she died. So, I decided to keep one of her eyeballs. I thought, maybe I should write all this down. To help preserve some small portion of my sanity. Okay. <laughs> oh. <sighs> what the hell kind of room is this? Not like any classroom I've ever seen. Hey. 
Check us out here. Hey, it's splitting. Are you, are you all right? We shouldn't be here. We really shouldn't be here. Looks like there's something in here though, in the back. You absolutely, positively must not look into its eyes, okay? Right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna save, and then I'm gonna look into his eyes. Right. Okay. What the fuck is that thing? A rusted, blood-soaked nail puller is sitting on top of the desk. Take it! Sure. Let's have a little look-see into those pearly whites, shall we? What the? The power stone in Yoshida's pocket suddenly and spontaneously shattered. I think... I just heard Miss Yui's voice. Did I save you? She said. But it couldn't be. Could it? Huh? Damn it. I looked. And now I can't look away. What the fuck's up with his eyes? Come off me. Oh, I should have... I forgot to put the effect on. What's going on? It's pitch black! Shinazaki! It's Yui! Satoshi! Anyone there? What? Where the hell am I? Was it dreaming or something? I can't move. Feels like walls all around me. Am I in a hole or something? Ah, <laughs> is... Stop! Dirt and gravel. From above? Ah, up! What the hell? I'm alive down here, damn it! Trying to suffocate me! Ah. Mouth's getting totally filled up. Stop! Stop this! I can't breathe. Am I gonna die like this? Why? Why? Who would? This can't be happening. This isn't funny! Stop it! My eyes are really hurting! Game over, chapter two, wrong end, one of four. <laughs> right, and on that note, thank you very much for watching. You've been a beautiful audience. This has been Corpse Party. I have been Wakila, and until next time, goodbye.